Hello and welcome to Python tutorial 7 on while statements. The while statement repeats execution of a block of code as long as a condition is true. Now if the condition remains true forever, the block of code runs endlessly. This is called an infinite loop. The infinite loop can be broken in Python by pressing Ctrl and C keys together. Within the loop, we can have a continuous statement which causes Python to skip the remaining statements in the block of code. Also within the loop, we can have the break statement which ends the while statement, meaning the while loop. The while statement may have an else block. The else block is run after the while condition becomes false. Now the while statement has two formats. In the first format, we have while followed by a condition, followed by a colon and a block of code. First, Python checks the condition. If the condition is true, it runs the block of code then it rechecks the condition. If the condition is still true, it reruns the block of code. If the condition becomes false, it ends the while statement. Now let us see an example which prints numbers from 1 to 5. The logic will be like this. First, start. Make a variable i as 1. Check if i is less than or equal to 5, if yes, display i and increase i by 1. Then go back again check if i is less than or equal to 5, if yes, again display i, increase i by 1 and so on. So it will continue to do this while the condition i less than or equal to 5 remains true. If i is not less than or equal to 5, meaning i is greater than 5, then it will stop. Now let us see the Python code for this. So I have a script here. First we assign 1 to i. Then we have the while statement. This is the complete while statement while is followed by a condition. The condition is i less than or equal to 5. So at first i is 1. So 1 is less than or equal to 5. The condition is true. So it's going to print i. Then there is a statement i is equal to i plus 1. So what happens is that this is an assignment statement. So what it does is it finds out what is the value of i, adds 1 to it and assigns it back to i. So i becomes 1 plus 1, so i becomes 2. Then it goes back to the while. Again the condition is checked. 2 less than or equal to 5, yes. So it will print i and i becomes 3. Again it goes back, 3 less than or equal to 5, yes. It prints i, prints 3, i becomes 4. Then it checks 4 less than or equal to 5, yes, it prints 4, i becomes 5. Again it goes back, 5 less than or equal to 5, yes, it prints 5, i becomes 6. Then again it goes back, checks the condition 6 less than or equal to 5, no. So that ends the while statement. Now let me run it. So here we can see it has printed numbers from 1 to 5. Now if we make a mistake, let us say we instead of the correct condition which is i less than or equal to 5, we put some other condition. For example, i greater than or equal to 1. Now what is going to happen is that i is already 1 and it is going to become 2, 3, 4 and so on. It will forever be greater than or equal to 1. Now if I run it and save it so it continues endlessly 
now this is an example of an infinite loop so we can terminate the infinite loop by pressing control and c keys together so that is how we terminate the infinite loop now let us go back and see an example with a continuous statement I already have the script for this and here this is going to do the same thing but it has a continuous statement first i is 0 while i less than or equal to 5 i is incremented by 1 then if i is equal to 3 we have given the continuous statement so what is going to happen is whenever i becomes 3 the continuous statement will be executed continue causes the remaining statements to be skipped so print i or print 3 will not be executed so let us run this so here we can see it has printed the numbers 1 2 4 and 5 so basically it has skipped printing 3 instead of continue we can have the break statement so let me put a break at exactly the same place now the break statement basically ends the while statement so what is going to happen is it's going to print 1 and 2 but when i is equal to 3 condition becomes true it breaks so it ends the complete while statement so this script should just print 1 and 2 so let us run this so here we can see it has printed just 1 and 2 that is an example of the continue statement and the break statement now let us see the second format of the while statement now in this format of the while statement we have the usual while condition colon block of code and we have the else also else colon and followed by the else block of code the else block of code is run after the while condition becomes false so first the entire while loop will be executed when the condition becomes false the else block will be executed now let us see the example of this one so I have a script which basically prints a multiplication table so it, there are a couple of print statements it says a multiplication table enter an integer and here we are using the input function to get an integer value into n now first i is 1 and the condition is while i less than or equal to 10 so it's going to print n asterisk i equal to n into i so whatever integer we entered for example we enter 3 so it's going to print 3 into 1 is equal to 3 then we increment the value of i by 1 and this whole thing goes on until it prints 10 lines after the while loop is completed the else block of code is executed and it just prints the table should now be complete so let me run this so it says a multiplication table please enter an integer so I'm going to enter the integer 3 and it prints the table of 3 3 into 1 is equal to 3 3 into 2 is equal to 6 and so on at the end we can see it has printed the else block of code has printed the table should now be complete so thank you for watch watching this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial